Oh wow, everything's gone very negative. All right, Dave. I'm aiming for this thing. So I'm fucking new to this. I missed that. I missed that. So I'm, I'm probably gonna sort of put a screen of it, like in editing, because I didn't read it. I promise. We don't want to hurt you. I know you both too well. Don't I let my guard down? You'll tear my limbs off and throw my head and torso into a trash compactor. No. I'm ending this right now for everyone. I'm going to fill that plastic fucking mask of you with how cheese for my nachos. Oh, Dave, stop it. Stop. You know that you can't keep this up forever, D. I'm going to tear your insides out, you pathetic orange piece of bare refuse. Hey, don't talk about my orange baby that way. Oh, don't call me your orange baby, please. It was creepy enough in the second game. I've got no choice but to keep fighting. Damn it! Fuck. I'll give it to you, puppet face. You sure don't go down easy? Oh wow, okay. Maybe I wasn't meant to win that fight. I didn't go down easily the first time either. Wait, should I have known that? Yes. I was one of the first faces that you and Henry abducted. Number three. Wait. Hang on a second, you're the girl. The one Henry took away from. Oh, so you do remember. Well, I can remember quite a bit too, William. Do you remember what that statistic fuck did to me, William? Call my death queen would be to call Fredbear Big Bone. I, I was never okay with what Henry did, I swear. I tried to talk him out of it. I'm no different to any of the children that you murdered of your own volition, William. You're evil, no two ways about it, and now you've corrupted my own flesh and blood. What? What do you... Sportsy, how did you know what that thing's name was? Dave. She was my sister. Oh, oh, no, I, I had no. Oh, so now you feel remorse? Now that you know who I am? What? I. I was only one of many casualties. The other kids all had families too, Dave. What? Henry told me. You snuffed out so many childhoods, Dave. Surely you knew what you were doing. What you were taking away from your victims. I was doing you a favour. A favour? You took away every future birthday I could have had. Every Christmas morning. Every walk in the park with my family. I never got to grow up, get married, have children of my own. My future died because of you. Don't you remember your own childhood? Didn't you have any idea what you were taking away from us? I do remember my own childhood, if you could call it that. 
Oh, I get it. How pitiable. Pitiable. The killer has a tragic past, so I, a victim of his shitty actions, have to feel bad for it. Well, no, I'm sorry. That don't cut it, William. You weren't the only one here with a far from idyllic childhood. Jack, me, and our brother Peter were orphans. Oh, holy shit, Peter! That's why the surnames are the same. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's a. That. Oh. Flip. They're all connected. Well, except for Dave. I'm sorry to hear that. I. I take it Jack is Sportsy's true name. Then. Yes, it is. Yeah, but honestly, Sai's fine too. Our parents died in a car crash, I'll have you know. Leaving Jack and Peter working full time to support me. Hey, don't worry, sis. What? Don't ever call me that. I know how you feel. I never had any parents either. Wait, you must have had somebody if you survived to adulthood. Well, from a young age, I was cast out of an orphanage. Holy shit. Science out, nobody really wants to adopt an orbishy kid. New York City in the 1950s. Good luck if you were homeless. You'd be lucky to get a nickel most days. People find goodwill and charity tedious. After so long of hearing about the needy children. So, I learned how to play the trad bone. I didn't expect that. I formed the fill bread, drank rainwater, slept wherever it wasn't what. I survived, didn't I? I don't understand. You live through such hardship, and yet. Where did you go? What happened next? Well, I ran away from home. Went trolled. Traveled for a while through upstate New York. Drank rainwater in Utica. Steamed hams in Albany. Then, near the border, I saw something different. Something wondrous. What was it? Dr. Miller's Fantastical Circus. Where fantasy is made real, and life has meaning. A local traveling circus, stopping by on its way to Vegas. I snuck in, not having a ticket, and my god. Quite the place, let me tell you. Hot dogs, clowns, lions, excitement. And in the center of it all, stood the ringmaster. A stout fella, pink complexion, in a pink striped outfit, with his signature hat and bow tie. Henry? Henry was a ringmaster before he opened a restaurant? He was Dr. Henry Miller. I was standing in his circus. He thanked everyone for coming down, and welcomed us to his show. Promised to show us her shattering illusions. He guaranteed to prove that the impossible was possible for your money back. Granted, I snuck in, but I was intrigued by the claim nonetheless. And boy, did he make the impossible possible. Cannons fired on instinct, as if they were sentient. They might have been. Trapeze artists levitated from bar to bar. Every damn act shattered at least one thing that I thought I knew about reality. The circus itself traveled west, and then south, hitting several stops in the Midwest. I followed the circus around, getting a good view of the show most nights, and every single show was incredible. Henry even had a clown persona that he'd done occasionally, got on really well with kids. What? That's a bit worrying. That guy knew how to act. Oh my god, what? 
Harry had a circus and he was... Dave, what happened to the circus? Well, it never quite reached Vegas. Oh, no wonder you're so obsessed with going to flipping Vegas all the time. Unfortunately, people tended to turn up missing in towns the circus reached. Oh, for good sake, Henry was always the same. Bad luck, I guess. The police called it off and arrested the lion tamer since the disappearances were investigated as murders. I heard that guy got put to death. Uh -huh. Serves him right, ruining Henry's circus, filthy drunk. I think Henry was the one doing the dirty deeds. Dave, don't take this the wrong way, but I doubt the lion tamer was the culprit. Oh, trust me, Henry testified in court, saw him do it. Dave, you trust Henry far too much. Henry was a good man, and a big dreamer. Even after that, he never quite let go of his dream of bringing fantasy to life. He decided to put his doctorate in robotic steals, and started up his own restaurant. Fred Bear's family diner. All he needed was a hand, to help perform on stage, manage customers, invest a little money into his dream. I was a young man at this point, and had saved a little bit of money up, so I could change my life. I just knew it. Henry's dream would change my life forever. And it did, and it's changed your afterlife as well. I gave him all of the money I had, and told him that I'd always be there to lend a hand. He cared about me, D. Gave me my own character. Let me help him write jokes for his shows. He gave me meaning. He was the first person that taught me how to dream. Dave. What? It's okay. I know Henry did bad things. He meant well and wanted to be a good person. I'm not sure about that. Me and Sportsy want to right Henry's wrongs and fix everything. We can still have a happy ending. Will she say so? Jack, is that true? Yes, D. Aside from the blazing hay Henry plays, I mean. Dave means well. This isn't the same Dave that we knew on Earth. The flip side's a dangerous place, sis. Dave knows this place well and can hold his own in a fight. He's useful. See, I'm useful. Jack, do you really want to help save everyone you can? Yes. I do. I do lie. Ah, I'm not lying. Well then, perhaps you should return to Earth. Do whatever you need to do. Dave and I can strategize here. Just a moment to get that word out. I know there's another lost soul nearby that we could help. I just need to figure out how to reach them. That sounds good, sis. Oh, and before I go... Dave, I have something to tell you. What is it, old sport? I... I found you. Or you found me, I guess. What do you mean, sportsy? Your physical body found me again. It's inside of a rotting spring bonnie suit. It goes by a Dave trap now. My god, that's incredibly concerning. I'll say. But we have nothing to worry about, right? You've learned your lesson about killing kids. Dave trap can help us. D, that ain't me. That's the part of my soul that can't let go. Couldn't even let go of my own dead body. 
Sportsy, I'm gonna keep an eye out for what my reality incarnate is up to. Yay! Keep your guard up. I shall. Good lord. The last thing we need is another soul to free. Keep a close eye on things, Jack. I will. Thank you, both of you. I'll be back in a month's time. Goodbye, Dave. Goodbye, sis. Farewell, Jack. I know we'll see each other again soon. Why, Sportsy? Don't leave me alone with her for more than a month, or she'll start getting ideas. Excuse me? Violent, the prank ideas. Um. Coming from the Kitty Strangler? That's rich. Oh, please. If I had one foot long noodle limbs, I'd do some. She's a kid, Dave! Goodbye, bro. Be back soon. Hmm, well, that was an adventure. Would you like to save the game? Yes, please.